what's up guys sparky is here and in today's video i'm going to be going over the Lumerate app i'm going to show the group controls as well as some features of the app so let's get started on off on off on is what you need to do on the switch in order to put your lights in pairing mode go ahead and click on add devices and all your devices should pop up click add and hit add all put in your Wi-Fi and password and go ahead and click next and let your lights pair to the app if you look up on the top right I did have to add a Wi-Fi range extender I don't have the best Wi-Fi but I needed to add this extender for my router to pair up with the lights because it's so far away the link to the Wi-Fi extender will be in the description below after my first attempt to pair it only linked up five out of nine devices, so go ahead and turn your switch off and back on. And you'll see the lights that didn't pair up start blinking again. So after that, you can go ahead and start pairing it again. So we're gonna hit add device. It should pop up the remaining lights that didn't pair up, which was four. Hit add all, same thing, put your Wi-Fi and password. Click next again. As you can see my Wi-Fi is horrible, the device adding timed out, but I'm going to show a second way on how to pair them up using Bluetooth. So going back to the switch, I'm going to hit off on again, and I'm going to click add device, but this time I'm going to hit plug with it where the arrow is, and we're going to hit confirm next, put the Wi-Fi and password again and hit add all and remember when doing this you want to have the phone nearby your devices so that it can link better and now I got all nine devices linked up to the app so the app is now going to recognize all your devices and they're not going to be named but what you can do is you can hit each device and hit the on and off button and see which light turns on and off then go inside that specific fixture and you can rename it to whatever you want. Um, in this situation, I labeled mine right garage. And depending on the way your house looks, you can customize it. So I'm going to hit it again. Another device. It's the right of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and name that right house. So now I'm going to go back and let's, we can change the grouping. So go ahead and hit the three dots and hit device management. And you could order this however you want. I went from left to right. Um, so I started with the left house, then left garage, right garage. And I just put it in order from left to right. Because when we go over grouping, when you want to do the grouping, it makes it a lot easier to control the lights when you have it in order. So now that we got this in order, go ahead and click on one of the fixtures and click on create group and start adding all your fixtures in one group. And what this is going to do is allow you to click on this one group and control all of the lights. So in my situation, I have nine fixtures. I should be able to control all nine fixtures with just one group. So if I want to change the lights to red, I change the dial to red and all my fixtures are going to go red and um, you can enter a group name I'm going to put outdoor soffit lights um, or soffit lighting but you can put whatever you want for your specific house okay so with that group done I'm going to test it so let's change the color temperature we're going to raise it up and that one group controls all the lighting and bring it back down let's change the colors red orange and it seems to be working go ahead and turn it off turn it back on that group works another suggestion is to make two other groups I labeled mine group two and group one and what I did in th these groups is I clicked on every other device so I just kind of skipped a light Add a device, skip the light, add a device, and then with this with the other group, I did the same exact thing. And what this is gonna do is allow you to control every other light's color. So in case you want to do some type of holiday lighting and do every other light a different color, it's a lot easier to do it than having to go one by one to each light. 
Another cool thing is if you have a Lutron smart switch, you can sync it up with Alexa so that when your ring detects motion, it'll turn on all your software lights just for security. All right, let's turn these lights on and let's test 2700K all the way up to 6500K. Next up, let's check the all lights group control and look at the colors. These next few are going to be some pre-installed scenes. If you want even more custom control, you can click on each individual light and you can put whatever color you want. Next, let's see some examples of some holiday lighting. In music mode, the lights sync to your mic on your phone. I hope someone found this video helpful because I didn't see too many videos of these lights on YouTube. If you have any more questions regarding these lights, please leave a comment, like if you haven't already, and subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks for watching, Sparky Easy, peace.